Why do we even add chlorine to swimming pools? It's very cheap, it's extremely powerful, and it's effective. It's the most popular sanitizer on the market. It kills viruses, it kills bacteria almost instantly. Chlorine is pretty awesome. Now, how much chlorine do you need to add to your swimming pool? General rule of thumb is to stay between one and three parts per million of chlorine in your swimming pool at all times. Now, staying in range is difficult, so you should definitely test your water on a regular basis every single week. You can use test strips or a liquid test kit, or or you can bring it into your local pool store and have them check it for you. Now, how do you choose the right chlorine for your pool? Every single pool is different, but there's really only two types of chlorine. There is chlorine tablets and there is granular chlorine or powdered chlorine. We recommend that you use chlorine tablets. They come in two different sizes. They come in three inch and one inch sizes. We prefer the three inch sizes because they're easier to handle and depending on where you live, they might actually be cheaper than the smaller one inch versions. And the brand, doesn't really matter. You can use any brand you want as long as the active ingredient is trichlor. If you don't wanna use chlorine tablets and you just wanna use the powdered version, you have to actually add that to your swimming pool water. It's a lot of work, but if you're up for the challenge, go for it. Now, if you're adding chlorine tablets, there are three ways to do that. The first way is using a floating chlorine dispenser or a chlorine floaty. This is something that floats around your pool and you add chlorine pucks to it. You can add a few. It just sort of floats and slowly dissolves the chlorine. The problem with this method is that Sometimes this floating dispenser can get stuck behind ladders and in your steps, and it can rub up against your vinyl liner, which can bleach it. So we really don't recommend this version, but it's certainly something to consider. A better option would be to add the chlorine pucks directly to your skimmer basket. Water is constantly moving over your skimmer basket as long as your pump and filter are running, and that is dissolving the chlorine much faster, and it's taking that chlorine through your filter system and pushing it out through the return jets, fully dispersing it through your entire pool. But the best way to add chlorine to your pool is to use an automatic chlorinator, which is installed in your filter system, which fully dispenses it in your pool water and really helps chlorinate your pool well. And this is the way that we recommend you add chlorine tablets to your swimming pool. But if you don't have an automatic chlorinator, adding it to your pool skimmer is just fine. So that's it. Thanks for watching and happy swimming.